quick. What comes to mind when you see a slew of flies? Bet your answer includes this word, death. But flies can be precious lifesavers if you're a diabetic with an open wound on your foot. The stats are dramatic. One in almost 12 Americans has the disease. And every 20 seconds around the world, someone loses a limb to diabetes. If you're at risk, this is the man you want on your team. Called Mr. the team. world's thought leader in amputation prevention, Dr. David Armstrong goes to extremes to save extremities. We have nothing better to actually clean up a wound than larvae, than maggots. You heard correctly. A fly's hatched eggs may be your best chance to keep toes intact. Dr. Armstrong, how are you? It's really good to see you. Diabetic Steve Frederick has been told by previous doctors that his foot should be amputated. Well, let's see what we can do about this today. Steve's infection goes deep down to the bone, but now he'll try anything because this is a special year. Uh, I want to walk at my son's wedding. God bless it's you. coming up this year. That's awesome. <laughs> it's going to happen, all right? You better tell those things. Get going. I used to be a lot more active. I've been in a wheelchair for the last two years because of the foot infection. Steve is a man that's had uh, everything thrown at him uh, in the past from uh, stem cell therapy to fancy biologics to uh, skin grafting and others. And now we're going, we're going old school. So first, we're just going to take these out. And what we're going to do is try to coax our other little friends out of here. You like that? This particular fly species loves dead flesh. The larvae remove only the necrotic or infected tissue. Plus, they're warriors on another front. Right now, we are in a, an antimicrobial arms race. There are some bacteria that are now uh, uh, completely resistant to all antibiotics. What is wonderful about larvae is that they may help to reduce the need for the unnecessary use uh, of antibiotics. This is the most environmentally correct way to heal a wound in a lot of ways. This is great. So here they are, a little couple more, and they're, they're really small here. You can see them crawling on here. But after just a couple of days, they're just going to be many, many tens of times the size. It's really extraordinary. 